Hey, what is up my fellow cynics? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sideload games onto your Oculus Quest 1 or 2 using the program SideQuest. So before we get started here, you will obviously need an Oculus Quest 1 or 2 to get this to work. And you will need a computer of some sort. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or special, but any sort of computer or laptop should work for you. And it does allow you to play older games like Doom 3 or Half-Life in virtual reality for instance. So my main goal today is to quickly and easily show you how to download SideQuest and actually get a game from SideQuest onto your Oculus and where you're gonna be able to find it and play it. But before we get started, if you find this video helpful at all, or you wanna see future videos on how to get certain games onto the Oculus from SideQuest, let me know down below in the description and give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, first step we're gonna do here is go over to your web browser of choice. Now we do actually have a couple steps before getting to the side quest part. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is enable developer mode on our Oculus, which do not worry, there's nothing sketchy or anything about it. And it is pretty much just a formality. We're not actually developers, but in order to get any of the side quest stuff to work, this is just a step that you will have to take. So first things first, you're gonna go to developer.oculus.com slash manage slash organizations slash create. And that is gonna take us to the Oculus website and you should on your screen have a button that says log in. Now you do just log into your actual Oculus Quest account. So once you are all signed in, you are gonna get taken to this Oculus for Developers page. And this is where you actually have to create an organization to become a developer. Now it does seem a little weird to have to do this, but like I said earlier, it is safe to do. And we're not actually developers, obviously. We're not gonna be doing anything in this, in this website or anything like this. Uh, it's just purely so you can turn developer mode on on your actual oculus. So for this I'm just gonna do I'm not a developer Yo, it like I said it 100% doesn't matter what your actual organization name is since we're not actually really using it for anything So just I understand submit. It's gonna take you to the disclosure here Agree, submit, and boom, you are officially a developer. It's as easy as that. All right, so up next, we have to enable developer mode on our Oculus Quest. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your Oculus, and then you're gonna pop open your Oculus Quest app on your phone, and make sure that, that, that it actually is connected. So from the main page here, you're gonna go on the bottom right and hit settings, and that's gonna actually show that the Oculus Quest or Quest 2 is connected. You'll see the green dot that says connected next to it. And you just hit more settings right here. That's gonna pop up uh, some additional settings and then you'll see developer mode now that you actually signed up for, to be a developer on your account. And then you just have to make sure that this switch right here is flipped on. And once that is done, you want to restart your Oculus Quest. All right, now we can move on to the next step, which is actually getting SideQuest downloaded. So what you're gonna do is go to the website sidequestvr.com. Once again, linked down in the description down below and I will pop it up on the screen for you. And once you are on that website, you're gonna hit get SideQuest up at the top here. Then you're gonna download it for Windows. And then bottom left here, it should pop up, click that. And then you're just gonna install it just like any other program that you would. Once it is all downloaded, just hit finish here and it should automatically pop up SideQuest for you. So you can go ahead and minimize your page there. And boom, there we go, we have SideQuest downloaded on the computer. So what you're gonna notice up at the top left here, you're gonna see a red dot that says device connection status, not detected. So our next goal is to actually get our Oculus Quest or Quest 2 to link up to SideQuest on our computer. So make sure that your Oculus Quest 2 is restarted, like I said earlier, and turned back on. So I'm gonna use an Oculus Link cable. Uh, you should be able to use any other, basically type A to type C or type C to type C cord, as long as it's able to do some sort of data transfer, which most cords should be able to. So go ahead and plug your Oculus into the computer. Now go ahead and put your Quest headset on and you're gonna be queued with a message that says, enable USB debug and that's when you're gonna actually want to select always allow for this computer and hit okay and then it is gonna pop up also after that saying allow access to data just allow that all right so once you allow all that stuff you can hop back over to side quest and on the top left now you should see that the dot has turned green and that the oculus quest one or two says that it is connected and boom that's it you are now ready to enjoy side loaded games from side quest on your oculus quest 
So stick around for the rest of the video. I'm gonna show you actually how to get one of the games onto the quest and basically where you're gonna find them because it is not gonna show up in your regular games list. Uh, it's kind of in a separated area. So I'll show you that here in a second. All right guys, so I don't want this video to be too long, but I'm gonna show you basically how to get any game on side quest onto your Oculus. So this is the main page when you have side quest opened up. Uh, you're gonna see all the different game options. So uh, you're gonna have staff picks here. There's gonna be a bunch of different categories. You can search for certain things. And just remember, anytime you're sideloading a game onto your Oculus, you have to have it plugged in, turned on. And on side quests, you have to make sure that the green dot is here saying that it is connected. Otherwise, it's pretty much impossible to get anything onto your quest from side quest. So just as an example, I'm gonna do physics playground here. So I'm gonna hit download this app. And then bottom right, it's gonna say that it's installing. And boom, it says the APK file has been installed onto my Oculus. So now I'm gonna just unplug my Oculus and I will see you in one second to show you actually where the games are gonna show up in your Oculus because it took me a little bit to find them the first time around. So I will see you in one second. All right guys, so once you're in your Oculus main page here, you're gonna select apps. And then in the top right, you're gonna see the all tab. You're gonna click right on that. Scroll all the way to the bottom and that's where you're gonna see unknown sources. And this is where any side where any side quest thing is going to be saved to. So then you can select physics playground right here and it's gonna load right up just like any regular game. So that is gonna wrap up the tutorial everyone. I hope that this was able to help people out there get kind of their foot in the door when it comes to side quest and start feeling comfortable with uh, kind of modding or just side loading in general games onto your Oculus. If I was helpful whatsoever, like I said earlier in the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just drop them down below in the comment section. And also down below in the comment section, let me know what is your favorite side quest game that you have tried so far or that you are excited to try out. And remember, if you wanna see future VR content, and other content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.